saben qué es lo que está pasando aquí. Estoy aquí en la... Estoy aquí en Hazelton. A ver qué tengo... ¿Qué cuenta tengo aquí con estos señores? Ahora que tenemos gente importante aquí. Tenemos, eh, tenemos el, eh, el derecho de grabar. She was very clear. Trump lying about the election. Parece que está medio incómodo los, la gente aquí, pero yo quiero grabar qué es lo que está pasando con nuestra policía. Quiero mandar un, un, un saludo y, y un reconocimiento a, a las personas que están grabando y que están haciendo los derechos eh, de nosotros. Ser reconocidos tanto en Australia como en Singapur, todos esos lados de Europa que están pasando exactamente por los mismos problemas que nosotros pasamos con la policía aquí. We have the same problem over in Australia, uh, Netherlands, all these places where the uh, police abuse people's uh, civil rights. We need to record people. We need we need to record uh, police. That lady obviously have a problem with me recording. She wants to. Record, she has the right to do it. Uh, I have no problem with her recording me if she wants to. I mean, every officer has a camera and she's being recorded by police. I don't I don't know why she has a problem with me recording when everybody has that right. I don't know people that think that we don't have the right to record, but we do. So let's do it. Let's exercise this right the way I'm doing it right now. And if for those who can get out of bed or can get out of the, whole, the house and are uh, not able to do this, I'm doing it for you guys. I'm standing up for you guys. I'm here risking uh, uh, everything for you guys. You know, if you guys can't record or you are afraid to record, I'm doing it for you. I'm, I'm here for you guys. We cannot be afraid of recording the police. We cannot. We need to do it. If you have a camera you, and you see a police officer, record it. Don't be afraid. You, it's your right to do it. And whoever wants to come along with me in those vi in these videos, uh, just contact me at my 
my channel, Not the End of Freedom, I can uh, guide you to where I'm gonna be at if you wanna come along with me. Like I said, I'm doing this for you guys. If, you, if, you, if you're not, if you're afraid to do it and if you're afraid the police might do something to you, uh, we have to do it little by little. We have to start getting, you know, these police officers, you know, uh, accountable for, for what they do. This police department in Hazleton is known for violating people's rights. When they when they hear me talking Spanish, they assume uh, automatically that I'm from Mexico. But the ignorance tells that you know not uh, not all the people that speak Spanish come from Mexico. That's why they're wrong. That's why they're so ignorant. That's why they don't respect people's right to record. And they call your names, races. But I'm gonna be doing this. I'm not, I'm not backing down. This is a worldwide problem, police. Everywhere, everywhere you see a uniform with a badge, with a gun, something, something is not right. I was saying before guys you never know when this uh, police is gonna snap and start shooting people when they demand something and they're not getting it they aggravate and they start you know throwing punches and bullets around they have no respect for us the citizens they just want something and they need to have it one way or another by force no problem Bueno, tenemos múltiples unidades. No, no tengo ninguna información qué es lo que está pasando aquí, pero vamos a ver. Tal vez puedo hablar con alguien ahora. No sé qué tan sensitivo está el tema. To talk to these people about what's going on here. I know that you know they don't want me recording for sure. But I'm exercising my right to record. So if anybody has a problem, does you complain I guess
what I'm doing was legal and my legal capacity. So I'm violating no people's rights, so violating no laws. I'm doing what the Constitution allowed me to do, record in public. And uh, this is something that we have here in the United States. And uh, I know for some people that are watching my videos in other countries, in other parts of the world, uh, I know that they, 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 they don't have the, the right that I'm exercising right now. But uh, I'm here to, you know, to show you guys how, how we live in the United States, where, you know, rights, you know, they violate, you know, how they interact with us. I'm here in Hazleton, Pennsylvania. And I'm showing you guys that, you know, it can be done. I mean, we need to go, we need to get out and report the police. We are allowed to do it. We're not breaking nobody, no laws. We're not interfering in any investigation. We're not interfering in any crime. We're just exercising our right to report, that's what. Not the end of freedom. That's the name of my channel. You guys can visit my channel, subscribe, and share my videos. Like I said before, I'm doing this for all the people that can do it, that are maybe afraid of doing it. So I'm showing you guys a little, little bit of a way to do it. I mean, I, I'm. I'm just a guy with a camera. I'm not threatening nobody. I'm not interfering. I'm not talking to no one. So I'm just here, you know, minding my, my own business, recording my little video. And I'm glad, you know, that these officers uh, respect my right. That must be hard. That must be hard to live with people that you don't, that you don't want to relate to. You know, like these people, uh, they don't want to relate to us, to any blacks or browns, Hispanics, Mexicans, you know, Guatemalans, uh, Costa Ricans. They don't want to relate with no one. They, they assume that we all come from Mexico, that we all cross the Rio Grande like the other guy said the other day. And we don't, we, you know, we, 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 we came here like, like any of these guys, you know, with the exception that they came by boat, you know, they, they came from Europe in boats, you know, we just crossing the border, we come in here, I came here legally, I don't know, just because they assume that I'm, that I'm Mexico, Mexican, I'm not Mexican, I'm Costa Rican. I came, I came here 37, about 37 years ago from Costa Rica. By plane, by the way, not by crossing the Rio Grande like they assume. Just because they see me, uh, uh, my Latin uh, complexion, I guess is how you call it. They assume that I'm from Mexico, that I crossed the Rio Grande, but I'm, I didn't. So just, just want to make this clear, you know, for, for, for all this ignorance. As soon as they, they hear somebody speaking Spanish, they say, oh, I'll go back to Mexico. We, we, there, there's, there's all over uh, 
we all we from all over the place. Europe, uh, Europe you know, Spain, uh, South and Central America. You know, so well, I guess this is it for these guys here. I wait for everyone to leave. This is uh, Sergeant Babula, who I spoke with a couple times about my situation, but he failed to he feel he failed to provide me with any any information about the uh, assault that I was engaged in a uh, couple couple months ago. So I guess we're gonna keep trying to see if we can get any resolve. So, lo que teníamos aquí, señores, en Hazelton se va la policía, no se lleva a nadie arrestado. Primo, ¿todo bien? ¿Qué la, ¿Me puede más o menos explicar qué pasó? No. No puede. ¿Todos están bien? Sí, no, 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 le, no le violaron los derechos. No, realmente uno está aquí. Ok, o sea, fue un problema de, 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 de trabajo sin permiso. No, sin permiso. Oh, porque yo tengo, yo tengo un canal de, de aquí para acá para los muchachos de Hazelton. ¿Cómo es? Que yo, que yo corro un canal para acá para Hazelton. Yeah. Pero si, si, si no. No, no, no hay ningún problema. No hay... Ellos llamaron porque realmente uno estaba ahí dentro. Pero ustedes estaban trabajando y ellos llamaron. El dueño vino fue de la casa. No. Oh. Sí, fue el dueño de la, de la casa que dijo en esa y todo ahí. Oh, sí. ¿Y cómo se llama el dueño? No sé, no, porque yo no. A mí que me trae real estate. Oh, sí. Entonces el dueño vino y lo encañonó. ¿Esa, esa es una de los dueños? ¿O la real estate? Ella, ella. ¿Ella es la dueña? Y el hombre. ¿El hombre fue el que lo encañonó? Sí. Oh, sí. Ok. Hey, Ese que viene, señor. Okay. ok, yo lo estoy lo estoy grabando porque usted sabe que yo paso metido en estas cosas de los abusos de los derechos. y Esta gente en realidad tiene un problema con nosotros los latinos aquí. Sí, pero y... realmente ellos tienen todos sus derechos porque. Pero es de encañonado no. no. Ellos no tienen derecho a encañonarlo. No, eso ahí se, eh, se equivocaron ellos, ¿me entiendes? Porque. El de azul fue el que lo engañó, ¿no? No. ¿O el de cuadritos? Ok. So vamos a ver cómo se llama este señor. He, he said he trained this, this guy. So we're going to see if we can follow up on this situation. We had the police was called because. I guess we had, they had a confrontation, so now they, for what I heard, the guy came do a, a job for this house, and I guess they didn't have a permit or any or whatever, so the guy came threatened with a, you know, to shoot him. Uh, this is the address here. Uh, we'll provide you the address later on. So I'll leave this uh, here for now. I hope you share these videos and subscribe to my channel, Not the End of Freedom. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one.